This is a quick video to talk about how to market your rowing club program. So this is your uh, brainstorming map for those kinds of things. Uh, so your promotion strategy, there are many different channels that you could promote your rowing club. I would say that the best thing you can do to help grow your rowing uh, club is to run a good club. Uh, if people are having a good time and they're happy and they're learning and they're meeting with some success and they're growing, um, then what will happen is your biggest builder, which is word of mouth, always is word of mouth, about 70% of your referrals might come from word of mouth, uh, are going to happen. And so if people are happy uh, with what you're doing in your club, uh, then you're going to grow, very simply. And so once they've, you've got the word of mouth going, you might get to uh, some of your parents or your athletes. So if you're watching this video, this is really targeted towards that community rowing program that needs to be serving uh, the community the best way possible. And so uh, your parents and your athletes and your adults might be making recommendations or testimonials. And uh, what you can do with those is you can package them and put them on posters or you can put them on leaflets or anything that will help uh, develop your program. I think the second uh, thing after all that is your club website, your online presence. I think it's no secret that social media uh, is so important. Once you've got that club website running, you can put all of your information on it, like your FAQs, your events, you know, the fees. Um, your coaching bios and really just you know think about who it is you're marketing to and often if you're running a high school or middle school program that's your parents uh, your middle schoolers and your high schoolers uh, if you're more geared towards masters then you know, you'd be looking at people who are looking to get into a new sport for the first time and really get in the boat and get that feeling. Um, club, uh, things like search engine uh, optimization uh, are important through your website. You can build your email list and uh, just make sure that you're doing that legally and you've got the opt-in uh, legal uh, taken care of. Um, ideally, if you've got somebody who's an expert in social media, uh, or somebody who's got an interest. Um, you can be putting YouTube videos out there, things like your fundraisers or coaching videos or just watching people rowing. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, like ESPN. It can be just something out there. Um, and that brings me to things like team uniforms and team t-shirts. You know, how, what is your branding? Um, do your team uniforms and t-shirts reflect um, you know, your, your values, your program, your t-shirts can include the website address so the kids can go into school and they can be wearing those t-shirts and that just starts conversations and then here we are back up to word of mouth again. I think the overriding thing that I want to say here is that you are building relationships and it will take a while but you're building relationships with schools and church groups um, you might be trying to get on that e-newsletter letter to the 7th and 8th grade parents to develop your middle school program, uh, to church groups and things like that. Um, one of the things that could be effective is that some schools run auctions or fundraisers and why not donate a couple of enrollments for your week-long summer rowing camp or your Learn to Row and uh, help that school nonprofit raise a little bit of money and just bring in a couple more people into your into your rowing maybe just for the trial period and what's it going to hurt maybe they'll bring some friends with them and that's all going to help your program grow um, you're going to have some club events as your club grows um, you may host a regatta or a head race um, you know you're talking with the local media developing relationships with producers of uh, television programs, radio stations, and things like that. You might also be developing relationships with uh, news reporters. Um, I think effectively time, if time is an issue, then this is probably the best place to go with the social media. Um, but writing a good press release, you know, the how, the why, the where, the whens appear in that first paragraph. And if you're writing a press release, think about that human interest story. Maybe you're talking about that kid who blew out their ACL playing basketball uh, or got the concussion on the football field and, and couldn't play football anymore. And, and then they get this second life in rowing. And that's what really where rowing can shine it can be a second opportunity for people to you know 
get that college rowing scholarship. Uh, you know, we talk about that. Um, and, uh, the, the, and the last thing I think uh, that I want to mention is that this is a lifelong sport. So we're not just getting into this for the high school years or the middle school years. This is something that you could do till you're 150 years old and you can be out there. And it's a lot of fun working with a lot of people uh, out on the river. So lastly, I would say that U.S. rowing are an excellent area of support. And once you've got your club registered and is an organization, they can provide help with press releases. Um, National Learn to Row Day, which is uh, the beginning of June, usually every year, uh, is a great way to you know just open up your boathouse and have an open house uh, and have that open house uh, available and to get to meet people. Again, we're building relationships and you're building your club. So not exhaustive, but uh, hopefully helpful to you. Uh, as you grow your rowing program. So best of luck to you out there. And um, if you've got any questions, just sound off in the comments.